Hi, this is Tehmina Khan again. Today I am here with question number 5 of miscellaneous exercise 4, which is about quadratic equation and expression. There are two parts in this question. In the first one, we have to tell the coordinates of the minimum point. Equation is already given in the completing square form. And then we have to sketch the curve. And after that, we have to find the value of C unknown if this line is tangent to the curve. So let's do it. Now the equation of the curve is given to us and we know this is a completing square form. If we relate it with the general completing square form where we know that HK gives us the turning point. And we know if A is positive, we get minimum value curve. If A is negative, we get maximum value curve. So from this equation of the curve, we know that turning point is at 1 comma 3. To sketch the curve, I am finding out y intercept. For y intercept, we know x is 0 because on the y axis, the x coordinate is 0. So we will substitute x equals to 0 in the equation of the curve over here, which will give us the y intercept at y, uh, 5. Therefore, the interception at y axis is 0 comma 5. So now we have the turning point which is 1 comma 3 and y intercept at 5 because we know that this quadratic curve which is called parabola is a symmetrical curve therefore we will just complete the sketching by using these two point and this will be symmetrical to it curve is sketch is completed over here then we have to find for what values of c the line which is this is tangent to the curve now we know when line is tangent to the curve the discriminant is equals to 0 so we will substitute this value of y over here and then rearrange this whole equation into general equation of a quadratic form which is ax square plus bx plus c so here we have done this and now my a is 2 my b is minus 6 and my c is 5 minus c with respect to a general quadratic equation. Now because line is tangent to the curve, the discriminant is equals to 0. So I will substitute the values of a, b, c here and then I will solve it, which will give me the value of c half. Now the second part of the question says, find the largest negative integer of p for this equation to have real roots. Now what is the largest integer value which can give you real root for this equation? So for that we know that the discriminant should be greater than or equal to 0 because question is saying real root. Now real equal or real distinct we don't know. So that's why we will use discriminant is greater than or equal to 0. We have rearranged this equation. Now this is my a, b and c which is ax squared plus bx plus c. So my a is 4, my b is minus p, my c is 8. So I am substituting this in this inequality. Now I am writing it in the form a plus b a minus b. So this thing is equals to, oh sorry, p square minus 128 is greater than equals to 0. So now from here I know the x-intercept. If you don't know how this happened so I can show you one step here and that is p square minus root 128 square so this is how I have done it so it is becoming a square minus b square so I have applied the algebraic identity here this is giving me p intercept because my equation is in terms of p so I will say p-intercept rather than x-intercept. So my intercept is at minus root 128 and root plus 128, which is minus 11.3 and plus 11.3. Because it is saying greater than 0, which values of p will give you answer of this greater than 0? It is on this part of the curve. Because if you notice, whatever the values of p are here, this is my p-axis. The values of p will give you positive values. It is saying greater than 0. 
so on this part of the curve the values of p are here greater than 128 and on this side it is less than 128 so question is asking the largest negative integer so i will consider only this part so p less than minus root 128 which means p less than minus 11.3 so the rest of the integers are on this side the largest integer negative integer will be minus 12 therefore the value of p is minus 12 thank you very much and if you like my, my video please subscribe me it will help you to get the updates of my new videos